It's not clear how many black churches have left the Southern Baptist Convention. A spokesman for the group says there have been some, but they don't know how many. Meantime, a pastor from Indiana says he has a message for all black pastors who belong to the SBC. My call is for African-American pastors is to simply, simply get out. Pastor Theron Williams heads a church in Indiana. He's not a member of the Southern Baptist Convention. He is the author of the book, The Bible is Black History. It says that white supremacy is at work inside the SBC. What about the timing of this? Why are you bringing this up now? Well, be because of it's, it's actually a response to the Southern Baptist Convention's position that critical race theory is inconsistent with their theology as they see it. And so in their theological seminaries, there will be no discourse, there will be no teaching, no conversation about how race affects our society. Last November, six presidents of the SBC seminaries announced that they would not teach critical race theory, saying that it goes against their faith. They issued a statement, quote, the seminaries agree that affirmation of critical race theory, intersectionality, and any version of critical theory is incompatible with the Baptist faith and message. Almighty Father, we ask you for your help in guiding the affairs of this great nation. SBC President J.D. Greer denied our request for an interview, but he did affirm the decision on critical race theory in a statement. Quote, while we lament the painful legacy that racism and discrimination have left in our country and remain committed to fighting it in every form, we also declare that ideological frameworks like critical race theory are incompatible with the BFM. BFM stands for Baptist Faith and Message. The statement doesn't explain how teaching critical race theory is incompatible with Baptist faith. Pastor Williams says discussing systemic racism is vital for the country to heal its racial wounds. I don't think there's been a, a real serious dialogue so that we can get beyond the racial divide and become the America that, you know, it can become. So it's important for us to talk about this. It's important for us to deal with this. One pastor who pulled his church out of the Southern Baptist Texas Convention received a racist letter in response. Pastor William McKissick of Cornerstone Baptist Church in Arlington, Texas, shared the letter as an example of why he thinks critical race theory is so important. The letter criticizes members of the black community saying, quote, like two-year-olds, they only know how to whine and throw tantrums. The SBC should bid them goodbye and good riddance. SBC President J.D. Greer responded to that letter on Twitter. Quote, this has no place in any gospel-believing association of churches and should be renounced all the way around. This attitude is anti-gospel and should be treated as such. The pastor from Indiana urging black pastors to leave the SBC says the conversation about racial inequity in America has grown larger than ever and that the SBC has opted out. It is at this stage in, in um, American history where Southern Baptist Convention has, in a real sense, chosen sides. We're not going to even talk about it. According to numbers from the Southern Baptist Convention, over the past 30 years, African-American congregations have been the largest growing segment of the SBC. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill. WXII 12 News.